Hi again, Kipsters. Uh, as you can see, this video is talking about how to go from a decimal to drawing it out into a picture. And as you can see, this screen should look familiar from uh, the first video for your break homework. Uh, it talks about the different decimal place names, the tenthos, hundredths, thousandths, tenthos. Uh, and specifically for this video, we really want to focus on what they look like. Uh, and one way to help us remember what they look like is to remember uh, what they are in kippish, right? We talk about it, kip ones would be a box because it looks like a box. Tenthos would be a bar. This is a little bite, this little square for the one hundredth of bits and then crumbs. And if you're able to memorize these, uh, you'll be just fine with drawing pictures. Just a warning, and I mentioned this in my other video, this is not really what a bar looks like. It's too thick. This is not really what a crumb looks like. It's too big. Uh, so when you see some of these pictures, they're going to look nasty. Uh, but I do want you to realize that both the crumb and the bit are actually smaller than they appear uh, in this video. All right, with that, let's get started with our first problem. Look down here, you see 0 0.32. Now, the best thing to do, as you can see, is label underneath each digit, just label what it is in Kippish. So we have zero boxes, because the ones place is a box. Underneath the three, call out. What do you think we're going to write? Go ahead, call it out. Said bars, you were correct. What about underneath the two? Go ahead, call it out. Bites is correct. So that basically means that we have zero boxes, three bars, and two bytes. Nothing here, so we don't have to worry about the bits and the crumbs. So let's look at our 100 grid here. How many boxes are we going to draw? That's right, none. How many bars are we going to draw? Three is right. One, two, three. And again, sorry, it doesn't look perfect, uh, but I tried my best with the video. So three bars, and then how many bytes are we going to draw? Go ahead, call it out. Two is right. That's exactly how you draw it. This is 3200ths drawn out. Let's try a more difficult one. 1.0223, or the way you'd say it in, uh, in Mathish, the way mathematicians say it, 1 and 223. What's the name of this place value again? Go ahead, call it out. 10,000ths is right. Okay, like last time, let's label underneath. What's going to go underneath the 1? Call it out. Underneath the 0, call it out. Underneath the two, call it out. Underneath the other two, call it out. And then finally, the smallest of them all is called the crumbs is right. So this decimal here has all these things. So we'll start off from the left with the box. How many boxes do we have? Call it out. One is right. Okay, next step. We don't have any bars. We already have this whole box filled in, no bars. Now, in order to draw two bytes, we're going to need a whole other empty box. And let's put our two bytes in there. One, two. There you go. Bits. How many bits do we have? Call it out. Two. So this is going to get nasty. I told you all. There's your two bits. You can see them right there. They're, too, they're way too thick. I apologize for that, but I couldn't draw it any better. And then it's going to get real nasty in a second because we've got to add how many more crumbs? Three is right. So look at this. One, two. Three. When you draw this out on your paper, just put a real small dot. Don't draw these little squares like I did. I just couldn't do anything else on my computer. But the most important point here is, is all of this stuff, two bits, three crumbs, it doesn't even make a byte. In fact, you would need 10 bits. If you look up here where my arrow is, you need 10 of these to make a byte. You would need 100 of these to make a byte. So make sure the most important thing, and this is why we're drawing these out, to realize how small these really are. They're super tiny, but that's how you would draw 1.0223. Time to try one on your own. 1.3502. This is the point in time where you would pause the tape. Go ahead and fill out what you think that looks like on your 100 grids. Uh, and we'll check back in in a minute. So press pause. Go ahead and try it, and we'll see how you do. Press pause now. All right, if you're back, 
That must mean you have some stuff filled in. So let's see how yours looks compared to mine. First thing I really like to do is just put all of the different kippish ways of writing these place names. So I have my box, bars, bites, bits, crumbs. Okay. Uh, first step you should have done, draw in one box. Your entire first box should be shaded in. Next step, three bars. One, two, three. So you should have three bars drawn on your paper. How many bites did you draw? Go ahead, call it out. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. No bits, two crumbs, bam, bam. Ugly, I know. But this is what your picture should look like for 1.3502. On your own, these are your six problems. In your homework, I should have given you uh, blank hundred grids to draw on. So go ahead and do your best. Again, a great strategy is just to label box, bar, bites, bits, crumbs, uh, and then just draw carefully and keep it neat. All right. Thanks for listening.